Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace and today it's going to be a slightly different video, something I've been wanting to do for some time because many people are having trouble with this, myself included. I recently did the update on my car and it wasn't the greatest experience, so I decided to compile a list of some of the tips and tricks that I found, some you may already know, some you may not, to try and help you guys to have a better experience with your Android Auto. Now, I know some of you guys out there are thinking, well, hold up a ways, Android Auto? Well, what about CarPlay? I have an iPhone. Are you gonna talk about that? F no, iPhones are pieces of shit and you're a piece of shit for buying one. Let's check out these tips. Now, this is the easiest one out of all of these to do, is check your cables. Everyone, for the most part, if you have an Android phone, unless you're using something really old, like a Samsung S3, maybe, you're probably gonna be using USB-C. Now, there's a couple of different options that you have for USB-C cables. Now, this is a really garbage cable that I found in a dumpster. Don't use this. Don't use cables you find in a dumpster. They are bad. They may look like a USB-C, but chances are, it's probably not even USB-3. Let that one go. This is actually a really nice cable that came with my OnePlus a couple of months ago, or actually at this time now, a couple of years ago. This is actually a really good one. This is, uh, I think, a Gen 1, which is rated up to five, uh, gigabits per second, which should be more than enough for an Android Auto in the car, but sometimes that's not the case. So instead, I ended up picking up this Gen 2 one from Amazon, which is also a USB-C cable, but this runs at like, I think like 10 or 12 gigabits. To be honest, these two cables should work. If you got something crap like this, throw it away. Don't even look at it. You know what? I'm gonna throw this one away right now. These are two really good cables. You want an actual USB-C Gen 1 or Gen 2. Try that, see if that works. Now we're actually sitting in the car and this, this is something that happened to me. If you got a crappy phone like mine, uh, you'll run into this issue. And this is definitely a software bug. Now I'm doing the screen record so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna take the USB cable and I'm gonna plug it into my phone and you'll see right now the Bluetooth is off, but once Android Auto connects, the Bluetooth automatically turns on. Now this was a software bug in my phone that may happen to you where when I was plugging in the cable, the Bluetooth was actually not turning on. As you can see on the screen, Android Auto is plugged in and ready to go. Now watch what happens if I turn the Bluetooth off on the phone. Android Auto, actually well as you can see, Android Auto won't let it uh, turn off actually. Normally what happens is if Bluetooth is off, it'll disconnect the Android Auto but as you can see on my phone, it's not letting it turn off right now. Uh, this is something that was fixed using an update in my phone, which is something that you may need to look into. So see if there's any security updates on your phone to fix that. As you can see, there we go, turn it off and it actually loses connection. So something to keep in mind. Now here's another really easy one. If you've recently picked up another Android phone or you did a factory reset or any number of different things and you plug in your phone to your car, Chances are it might give you an error like Android Auto can't turn on or any number of things. But what you can do is go check to see if Android Auto is even updated. This is something, again, my phone did, which doesn't make any sense. Apps are supposed to be auto updated on my phone, but sometimes through software bugs or whatever the reason is, they don't update. And usually when you plug up your phone to your car, it should tell you that Android Auto has an update. But if it doesn't, just go check out your App Store, uh, sorry, Google Play Store, and find Android Auto and see if it has an update. And if it does, just go ahead and update it. That should be, again, these are no-brainer things, but sometimes our phones aren't quite as smart as we think that they are, like mine. After updating it, it should say Android Auto is available because it's connected to the Bluetooth. Once I plug it up to, oh my goodness, this is a very long cable. Once I plug it up, plug up my USB, it'll pick it up right away, no problem. There it goes, easy peasy, it's asking me to set it up, done just like that. Now, this next option is a little bit more involved, but something that I highly suggest a lot of people do on their 22WRXs. Uh, recently, I did post a video about an infotainment upgrade that you can download from Google Drive, put on a USB, plug up to your car, and update the entire infotainment system. Now, this does give you a couple of more options, like changing the HVAC controls, something that I did notice that my connectivity, at least for a little bit, was very good. Um, a lot of the issues that I ran into are probably more related to my phone than the actual Android Auto system itself or the infotainment, but still, it doesn't hurt updating the car because, I mean, that's one half of this equation. So, if you got a little bit of time, check out this other video. I'll link it down in the description. Download some of that data, put it on USB, throw that sucker in there. I think you're really going to enjoy it, even if it's just to have those uh, updated HVAC controls. 
Now this last one does require a little bit of a disclaimer, so let's roll it. Heavy Metal Rex and In Connection Oasis is not responsible for breaking your phone for any reason. Everything you do is of your own volition. Instructions in this video are just suggestions, not really meant to be 100% fact. If for some reason your phone explodes, becomes sentient and self-aware, decides to go back in time to hunt and kill John Connor, therefore ensuring the enslavement of humankind, this is in no way the fault of Heavy Metal Rex and the channel in association. If you feel that this is something that can happen, please contact Michael Bean and Linda Hamilton. Also, by viewing this video, you accept that Heavy Metal Rex is the best YouTuber and provides the best information, even if it does enslave all of mankind. And we're all in turn turned into batteries. Please do not contact me if you are a battery, because now I am also a battery. Thanks a lot, always. Anyway. Now, the, what I'm going to show you here is something that I used to do a long time ago when we used to flash custom ROMs on old Android phones. I mean, I think that's still pretty much a thing today, but I kind of don't mess around with it. Basically, it's enabling USB debugging. Now, USB debugging on your phone kind of allows you to have somewhat unrestricted access to your USB and allow you to do things that you normally couldn't do. In this particular case, this is the issue that I ran into, where anytime I would plug my phone to this car, the USB would just say Android Auto is connecting and that's it. There's nothing would happen. And it was very, very annoying and very fr frustrating for me. So I ended up trying that. Now, how to do that? Let me show you. On your phone, if you will go down to settings, you're going to scroll down all the way to about phone. You're going to scroll down until you find build number and you will spam the hell out of it. And in my case, it already tells you I'm a developer, but you should see it. It's saying becoming developer or enabling developer options in three, two, one, boom. Once it says developer options have been enabled, back out of that, go to system or wherever your system settings are, then you should see another option for developer options. Now this, you're gonna scroll down and find the option for USB debugging, and you're gonna turn that on. Now, don't really worry about what it's talking about. It's your, if you're only plugging it up to your car or your computer or charging it, which I think most people are, it's a non-issue. Uh, it's definitely not designed for, for playing around with, but I don't think you're going to run into any issues with this on. I never have, and I've had it pretty much on in most phones in the past. Uh, as I've gotten older, I've stopped messing around with phones because I just need them to work. In this case, this is the only way I was able to get it to work. Now, as soon as I plug up my phone, Android Auto turns on absolutely immediately, which is just doesn't make any sense to why that all of a sudden happened. I do believe it's something to do with the permissions and the software. Something is jacked up in my phone where I think maybe the Android Auto permissions aren't properly set. I have no idea, but I need this thing to work. The other day I actually drove for like two hours and I really needed Android Auto on my screen. And I, for the entire two hours, I couldn't get it to work. So this is another option you can try. Hopefully it works for you. We definitely talked about a few options and I know this may not be a one size fits all for everybody, but hopefully some of the tips I showed you in this video do give you a slightly better experience. I know it kind of sucks that we're moving over away from like traditional uh, head units and into this tablet style and a lot of cars are just coming with it and not everybody is tech savvy you know not saying that you don't know your way around a computer but really when you sit down in your car you want to just drive the thing you don't have to mess around with it so hopefully some of these tips help you guys if they do please definitely let me know if you have any questions throw them in, uh, throw them into the comment section i usually tend to spend a lot of time googling how to fix certain things just because as a tech person it's kind of my nature. I just like to read up on this stuff. So maybe I can help you out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it was informative and I'll see you guys in the next one.